Welcome to the Answers for Elders radio show. Meet the trusted experts who will give you straight answers and will help guide you on the path of later life care. Now, here's your host, founder, caregiver, and CEO, Suzanne Newman. And welcome back, everyone, to Answers for Elders radio network, heard across the USA. And we are excited to have Julianne Gibson, who is the founder and CEO of Real Estate 55 Plus. And we are talking about environmental wellness. And we kind of, in the beginning of the show, we talked a little bit about what does that mean. But we're going to dive in, Julianne, today. We're going to talk about home safety. And specifically, one of the key factors of being safe in your home is fall prevention, is it not? It absolutely is. It's the number one reason that seniors aren't able to go back to their home to live independently. Yeah. 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 And obviously fall prevention. Uh, I, I heard some statistics that like 75% of home falls are ones that could have been prevented I, or something like that in, in this country. I, am I right on that? Or I may. You're right. You are right on that. And so many times it's the simple things that you don't think about that cause falls mm-hmm. or tripping. Yeah. And there are things that you can do that are super simple and easy so that you can prevent having those things happen. Yeah. And unfortunately for us, we have the stories of seniors that could have prevented a fall. And we've learned oftentimes the tips and tricks and the recommendations that we could make to seniors so mm-hmm. they don't have the same yeah. um, a falling and then not being able to go back home. Yeah. And you yeah. know, that's so true on what you're saying because um you know, we don't even think about in a lot of, if, if somebody has been living in their same home for, you know, 40 years, 30 years, they're used to a certain degree of lifestyle or environment. But as right. we start to, you know, um, age, we don't have the physical de- dexterity or the balance that we used to have. And that, you know, that is a progression. And so Absolutely. obviously in fall prevention, um, what are some tips that you have to keep a home safe? Absolutely. Well, we work a lot with the Red Cross. And so the Red Cross actually has a fall fall prevention program and they will come in and assess your home. So we follow their guidelines Mm -hmm. on what we can recommend to a senior. And when we're teaching workshops, we will provide that information to them. When we age, our sight changes, our hearing changes, our sense of smell, our balance and our touch. So Mm -hmm. what we used to be able to see in front of us now oftentimes will look like a black hole. And Mm so walking through your home and saying, am I seeing this as a continuation or does it look like a stare to myself? So if you have carpets or rugs that are a darker or lighter color than your other flooring, you may want to consider removing those because Mm -hmm. at at some point you may think that's a hole and you're going to try to step over it and you're going to fall. We see that happen quite a bit. So getting out of their bathtubs, you can get have all kinds of grab bars that come in, in permanent or semi-permanent installation, mm-hmm. and it's a whole package in a movement called universal design. So you can retrofit your home so that you can age successfully as possible. If your desire mm-hmm. is to say independently, that could right. be in your family home. It could be a condo. You may be moving to retirement community, or you may be moving in, uh, generationally mm-hmm. and doing that. You're going to put all of the systems in place so that you can age and function. So if you yeah. know you have chronic arthritis and it's going to get worse or you have a flare up, you want to make sure that the doors and the handles are easy for you to maneuver. So not a round handle, but a lever style handle that you right. can either use your elbow for, or you might be able to use your knee for it or your forehead mm-hmm. to get those open. That's really critical because I know if you're pulling on something, you might have a chance to trip and fall backwards, yeah. which is yeah. something that we do see happen a lot with people. Um, if you can spend you know, five or 10 minutes a day on balance. There's some chair exercises that you can download online or get a video for. You can also go to a local YMCA or gym that's mm-hmm. going to focus on balance and mm-hmm. also your core. So right. for many of us, we start getting kind of tipsy. If we have really good balance, it's going to prevent a fall. And with right. our core, if we can have that strength mm-hmm. that we're back, it's going to have a huge, huge impact on are being able to regain balance. Yes, yes. And you know, that's so important. The fact of, they say, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. And what you're saying is exercise, it can be done in a chair. It can be done 
in, in, in different ways. And I think that's something, you know, you guys have, I'm sure resources on those kinds, uh, kinds of things. We do. We oftentimes will secure discount for our senior clients. Mm -hmm. And when we do, we, we let them know, get on our VIP card or you can call us directly and we'll mm-hmm. send you the information and the discounts. Yes. And I know that a lot of people have stairs in their homes. Uh-huh. Having handrails on both sides is extremely, um, I don't know what you want to call it for your balance. It just really uh-huh. helps you go down, up and down the stairs so that you have security on both sides. Because mm-hmm. often you have the handrail on one side and the prevention, the falling typically happens when someone's coming down a stair, not up a stair. Yeah. Yeah. Coming down a stair. So if you have them on both sides, you're going to have security on both sides to be able to handle those stairs. Yes. Have especially them. if someone has a stroke issue where they have right. maybe uh, one side is stronger than the other. It's mm-hmm. it's important to have it on both sides. I I totally agree with you. Absolutely. And hydration is super important. I mean, if, as we start to age and we're taking medications, if we don't have mm-hmm. proper hydration, you can stand up and your blood pressure is low and you have a chance of like getting woozy mm-hmm. and then falling. We see that happen quite a bit. So being hydrated is extremely important and that will help mm-hmm. prevent falls too. Well, and that's also hydration is not only water, but it's proper uh, nutrition, you know, fruits and vegetables and, and water rich foods, salads, those kinds of things I think are important. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Really making sure that you're hydrated, especially if you're taking medications, Uh a huge impact on the effectiveness on the medications, but some medications are dehydrating. Mm -hmm. So knowing that, Hey, I need to take some water, but this will make a big difference. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Speaking of the home and being safe in a home and the environment, there's a couple of tech, um, technical um, technology products that you can use if you do fall or mm-hmm. you're feeling woozy. The Apple actually now has a watch that you can get that if you fall and you're laying, you know, perpendicular, it'll actually send an alert. You can actually yes. put it on your finger too. <laughs> or there's lots of lifeline necklaces, but the watch is very. To me, it just feels like it's a personalized piece of jewelry. Yes, I don't it's not like. a it's not a uh, red flag that you need it's something not, to yeah, monitor. It's not and the there. other nice thing about it's, the watch is it's no matter where you are. If you're shopping in a you know shopping center or wherever you are, you're at a football game, anything like that, right. it gives you the ability to have that um, you know that ability to. So that's important. Absolutely, and for so many of us, when we get up in the mornings, our joints are super stiff. So mm-hmm. take just two or three minutes, just kind of stretch out a little bit before you hop out of bed because mm-hmm. the early morning hours are the most frequent falls occur are in the morning hours. I believe that. Yeah. And you've got one more before we go and we've got about 45 seconds. Oh my gosh. We have so many to, to kind of focus on. I think having a chair, if you're someone who has a hard time getting up out of a chair, there are lifts that you can do that'll mm-hmm. help raise you up and move you forward because mm-hmm. oftentimes what we'll see is somebody will be in a chair and they'll use their arms on the arms mm-hmm. and they don't have strength in their arms. And so they go to propel themselves and they oftentimes will fall forward. And then we see that. And it's amazing how many times we're with a client and like, Oh my gosh, you're going to end up falling over. I'm glad wow. that we're here, but maybe you might want to try to find a, a chair that has a lift on it. or work yeah. on your strength in your upper arms. And Julianne yeah. Gibson and myself, yeah. we're going to be right back right after this. We at Answers for Elders thank you for listening. Did you know that you can discover hundreds of podcasts in our library on senior care? So visit our website and discover our decision guides that will help you also navigate decision making. Find us at AnswersForElders.com.